G'day everyone, Rip Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Today is the 27th of the 5th, 2017, and the time here is 08.43 a.m. W.A.S.T. Okay, this is a video from Seven Spaulding, um, who sent this to me a couple of days ago, and I did an analysis on it. This was filmed on the 21st of the 5th, um, in the US, Cincinnati, I believe. Um, I'm gonna play the video. It's, as you can see, it's only two minutes 11. Um, it's quite a riveting watch. There's no manipulation in this at all, um, which you can see when it starts playing. I'll go back to the beginning so you can see the full effect of it. I put it on full screen. And then after this, I'm going to show you the tests. How's that even possible, folks? So there's two, there's two spheres there. Okay, folks, <clears throat> you don't have to be Einstein to work out that sphere there does not match that sphere there. It's simple, very simple. And that one there, which is a, a, an actual circle, does not match that one there at all, does it? Neither does that one. So you've got another full circle and this blob. In actual fact, I've never seen anything like this. It just does not make physical sense, does it? So you can actually physically see that that is a circle. This is a blob with another full circle there. Now that is not the sun reflecting off the clouds, by the way. It's even more pronounced there. And there. And there. It's just bizarre. Now, I'm going to show you the test. <clears throat> excuse me, of this video. And this is them. I've already sent these out to everybody. So you guys don't know this, but we have a um, 
It's actually an international uh, Nibiru leadership group now. <coughs> Excuse me. Where I send, the, I do tests and I send them out to, I think we have 13, 14 people now, near locally, seven. Um, a gentleman in Argentina. Um, and the reason we do that between ourselves is so we, we can check and keep viewing and make sure that we're all aware of what's going on in different hemispheres. And it's proving quite successful. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat this morning. Here's what first caught my eye. There are two massive planets, one there and one there underneath the sun. And they're being lit up as the sun's going down. Now, I've said countless times before that uh, this is happening a lot. If you want to see these specifically, look at the sun as it's going down and it's reflecting back up. And you'll see these planets on just about every single picture that I've got, as I said before. And this is inverted, as you can see up there, inverted. <laughs> I've written Blind Freddy can see them. Note the bigger planet on the right has a smaller planet sitting on the top right hand side of it at one o'clock position, which you can quite clearly see there. Folks, they are there 100%. They are sitting because they're being illuminated like that, they are sitting underneath and slightly behind the sun. That's why they're being illuminated. You notice, as I said, you see the, the small planet sitting there. This is inverted and value inverted. That's the planet at a one o'clock position. And as I said there, I'm not sure about these. You can clearly see there is another planet smack bang in the middle there. That's not your imagination. That's actually 100% another planet. And you can actually see that there is something sitting on the left hand side of it. This is a, a gamma test. And I've written here a note that I could literally take it right down to zero uh, to the lowest point, and I'm still getting reflections. Now, before I take this up too far. Let your eyes adjust and you can actually physically see that there are actual eye stuff in the background or because they're not being as lit as much i'm guessing that they're actually sitting right next to the sun so you can't get illuminated but you can clearly see these here now look one there and you can see the, the planet sitting on the side of it another planet here not too sure about these little black things here, whether it's uh, planets or not. Yes, it is. As I said, these pictures are not manipulated. It's just me doing gamma test on it. This is adjusting contrast and brightness. And as you can see, it sharpens them up enough for you to see, and you can physically see the actual little planet on the right. Looks like there's something there as well. I never noticed that before.
this is uh, hue, hue and saturation and color. So what happens here is all I do is I leave the, the I take it off gamma or contrast. Do I take it off contrast? No, I leave it on contrast. And <clears throat> basically I just adjust the color settings. There was a time when I was doing too much manipulation on these and Strop and um, Sam told me that if you keep manipulating so much, you leave yourself open to claims of manipulation. So basically all I do now is take these down to about here on lightness and then I take it up the other side and I just go along the light spectrum. And this tells me what's there. And as you can clearly see, they are there. Simple as that. And as I said, there's some stuff at the background here that you can see, but these are these are actually more forward. These are actually more back behind the sun. That's why you can see them. And that, that proves 100% that they're there. These are not clouds, folks, as I've already proved through the gamma test. So they're sitting directly under the sun and directly to the back a bit. That's why they're being illuminated so much. Not too sure about this thing here. It kept popping up, but I wasn't sure if it was like a spire from the buildings or what, but it doesn't seem like it now. I'm looking at it now. It actually looks like it's some sort of planet or an object. As I said with these over here, I'm not too sure about these. To me, they look like clouds because it's got the same configuration as clouds. You can notice the difference in the clouds. Look, you get that whitish gray tinge. These are not clouds. Yeah, so I'm not too sure about that one there, but that looks blue, doesn't it? Is it just me or does that look blue to anyone else? It's got a slight blue tinge to it. Let's go back a bit. There you go. Well, that definitely tells you that it's something, doesn't it? Bloody hell, it's massive, whatever it is. Notice the shadow on these which tells you that they're being illuminated on this color spectrum. Breathe on that one. Hey, presto. And as you can see, you can see that, that planet there again now. And this is actually something, I never noticed that before. That tells me that these are probably just a little bit further back. Yeah, you can just look at the size of that. That might just be me, folks. Sometimes you start seeing things a little bit more than you should. And if that doesn't convince you, that, like I said here, you can clearly see objects in the background now. Not these, these ones here. You see that? And we can clearly see now that that is something. And there's another little planet with it. But that is just as big as that, if not probably the same size. And there's another one, like I said there. You clearly see that. And that's it, folks. That video is worth, you know, a thousand words to all of us. I'll leave it at that. Hang on, I'll go back to the original, actually. That's the original. Now your eyes are adjusted, you can clearly see stuff in it, can't you? Right, folks, Rep Aussie out. God bless.